We are here in the governing boardroom, uh, the place where the board uh, approved two measures to be on the ballot November 5th, the bond and the override. We'll talk about both, but first we're going to start with the bond. What does the bond look like? Well, I'm standing here in Inspiration Mountain. This is a new science room, a building we had to add this last year because of the exponential growth in this zone. We actually added another building last year at Union Park for the same reason. So the bond keeps us in front of the growth that's coming to our area. And as you know, the Taiwanese Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, is coming to our area. Their factory is about half done, three quarters done. They expect to be doing uh, chips here pretty soon. Well, in that uh, $65 billion development, there will be uh, residential areas around it and commercial areas around it to the tune of $7 billion in the first cycle. So another Anthem-like community is going to come out right around uh, TSMC. So we need to be ready for that growth. The state is telling us it's about 19,000 units. That's a lot of kids, close to 10,000. So they're coming, ready or not, and we need to be ready for that exponential growth that's going to come soon. This bond that we are putting on the ballot here in November will not be a tax increase. It'll be a continuation of the current tax levy that we have. Two thirds of that bond is really about the maintenance side of our district. That's carpet, that's paint, that's fixing fences. For example, we have high schools that range from 1,800 to almost 3,000. So we have hundreds of kids that are in our schools every day. Imagine if we did the math, 2,000 kids in a school times 15 years, that's 30,000 pairs of feet walking across that carpet over that 15 year period. Therefore, you need to change that carpet that's gonna wear out. The bond directly supports the students through the facilities and the structures. Safety is super important. We are going to continue to install more security cameras, update them. We're looking at installing automatic hallway door locks and upgrade our playgrounds, improve our intercoms and our fire alarm systems that constantly need to be updated. Another important part of the bond is our facility maintenance. As you know, in Arizona, it can get a little warm. So our HVAC has to work. And that's another big part of our bond is keeping our HVAC units up to date as we move tons of air with these massive machines to cool these large buildings. So that is a big expense that the bond helps pay. It also takes care of our roofs. All of our roofs in the district are all bought and paid for by a bond. So that is what keeps uh, the rain out, keeps our uh, weather out, our heat out. Those are two important things that the bond provides. The bond will help us purchase instructional materials and resources that best prepare students for their future. Technology for every student in our district is very important. Every student has a one-to-one -one device in our system. We need to replace those devices, obviously wear out, so uh, we have to continue to keep those current and modern and up to date so the students can maximize their learning. All the network enhancements behind those devices also need to be updated to handle the thousands of technology devices that we have in our district. Transportation is also a big part of what we do. We also spend dollars on our buses and our white fleet that transports students and staff around. Every year we look at our list of how many buses we have and over time as they run hundreds of thousands of miles a year, each, these buses need to be weeded out over time as they start to break down. So the bond helps support that. Well, over time we end up replacing our buses. Every other year we add a couple more, a couple more, a couple more and the bond is an integral part of paying for those purchases. As you know, I put a lot of activities on social media and two items that were bond related that happened this summer 
was the water tower at New River. We had to replace it. And so um, if you follow me on uh, Twitter and on Instagram, you'd see pictures of us putting a new water tower up there so the New River School would have consistent water source. Another big project that happened this summer was a brand new bus barn at Desert Mountain. It's on the back side of the school and uh, that will allow our northern buses to not have to come all the way down to uh, Deer Valley and get their oils changed, their tire changed, the little things that we uh, can do up there up north. And so it'll make us more efficient. It'll also uh, take less people time because we'll be able to take care of the uh, services up north. And we're really excited about how that will make us a more efficient operation. We've talked a lot about the bond issues and what the things that are around it. That's really about things that you can see, the physical structures in our district. The override is different. The override is very important in our system. We've had it since 1991, over 30 years. It's helped our district be one of the best in all of Arizona. The m and override supports six things. These are the things you have to remember. Full day kindergarten is currently free for students. Since 2016, this has taken place. And we want to continue with that because obviously it's good for students to be in our school system at an early age. The earlier, the better is what the research says. Another major benefit of full day kindergarten is obviously our service to the community. Parents can then pick up their kids at the end of the day rather than in the middle of the day. So it's a great service for our parents, not only on top of the learning that the students get by spending more hours at school. The override also supplies dollars for specialized programs, such as gifted services and our language immersion programs. Deer Valley has a long history, in fact, the oldest Mandarin speaking program in the state of Arizona. We want to continue that. A couple years ago, we started our Spanish immersion program at Union Park. And we have also other schools that are picking up elective classes in these languages. We want to continue to provide that opportunity for students. These specialized services also keep us competitive with charters and private schools throughout the state. Since the override is super important in relationship to students, we want to make sure to keep our class sizes low. If the override doesn't pass, then we may be forced to add more students per class. One of the pluses of the override, it helps to keep our class sizes lower. Extracurricular, we want to ensure that ongoing support for athletics, fine arts, band, choir, PE, theater, and dance, those things are supported tremendously by the override, an important piece that makes us competitive with our neighbors. Much of the override pays for what we call specialists and support staff. So those folks that help the learning in the classroom and provide extra support for our teachers and staff members. The override is pivotal to our success of going to the next level. About 8% of every person's salary is in the override. So it's important to sustain that funding so that we can be competitive with our neighbors. Another positive of the override is trying to retain the best teachers for our system. Many of our neighbors have an override. So if we cut this, that'll make us less competitive. Therefore, teacher retention will be more difficult. So that's an important piece of what the override does for Deer Valley. We've talked a lot about the bond and the override. And we know at the last election cycle in 2023, there was a lot of misinformation. So if you want to know the details and are in discussions with people who want to know more, you can actually go to our website, www.dvusd.org slash bond or slash override to get the details that you want. There will be plenty of pages of information there down to the penny of where every one of those dollars are going. The same would be true for election dates that are important. www.dvusd.org slash election. As you know, the, the state is inadequately funded for public education. And as our student population increases, as more and more people move here, the expense for land, for buildings, 
All those things are all going up and we can't keep up. That's why these elections are super duper important for our system. Many of our neighbors have an override and that helps us stay competitive with them. Some of them don't. And those districts that don't have an override are really struggling. As you know, you can look around and figure out which ones are and which ones aren't. And I bet you can trace it back to dollars. The research says, more dollars you get, the better the product you will put out. Democracy is alive and well in America and we want to continue to use it wisely. One of those opportunities is for you to vote. So we want you to get out and vote. We want you to talk to your neighbors. We want you to talk to your fellow staff members to get out there and vote. It's important to be a part of the solution in our community.